All right, guys. Um, you'll have to excuse me if I sound a bit muffled. I <laughs> had a tooth pulled, but I wanted to show this off. This is my 1890s uh, Zeus Chicago number one typewriter. Uh, it's a fascinating machine, and I just wanted to give it a bit of a type sample for my YouTube audience. <laughs> It's quickly become one of my favorite machines to use. I absolutely love it. Okay. Hmm. What happened? switched it out I forgot hold on <laughs> forgot I did this I'm gonna leave it in um, I got a separate uh, sleeve type sleeve and doesn't quite fit right in my machine mine's worn my mine's really worn uh, it doesn't really work quite right still working it out yeah that makes sense okay put it back in there so uh, I'm leaving it in because it's kind of fascinating how you can just swap these out mm, come on get in there you know if, if it'll go usually it's not a not as big of a problem it's kind of a, a, a you know a faff as they say not that bad. There we go. Okay. Mm, where was I? August. so much wobble. It shouldn't be like that.
So yeah, so that's it. It's a really nice machine. I really like it. Um, if you ever get a chance to buy one, buy one. They're really cool. Extremely rare. I had to have this ribbon sent to me from someone in England who custom makes them to size. Uh, which was, you know, cool. Expensive. More expensive than buying a regular one. But, you know, worth it. Um, and, yeah. Uh, I love it. It's really cool. Uh, it's It's definitely the pride of my collection right up there with my Moskva for coolness and uh, I even went out and bought a uh, reproduction manual I have the um, carry case for it and everything so yeah super cool anyway that's it for now I will do a proper video obviously when my face is healed and uh, mm, you know, that's about it. I got another monster coming, too. <laughs> so fun stuff in the future. Also, other projects that I can uh, film. But, uh, but yeah, so uh, like, subscribe. You know, there will be more. <laughs>